so strange. Our has go war row. The giant lizard said to live in the caves, Alcatraz, Alcatraz, Boone and Stacy counties, Northern Ac and Nass. His two tusks are head and two, twenty foot in length makes an assortment of groans and hisses. Sometimes before, sometime before 1935, E.G. Rhodes heard a commotion in a deep cabin called Devil's Hole, three miles northwest of Mortal, Al- 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 He crawled down 20, 200 feet to investigate, but couldn't see anything. Later, he lowered a front on on a rope into the cabin, something bit through the rope. The crow crow row one of several fabulous monsters reported in Akronathas, popular may owe its origins more to journalism than traditional narrative and folk belief. Principal documentation the creature existence. The story appeared in the Akronathas Gazette on January 31st, 19, 1897, apparently written by Emmett Emma Sufi. Elmer Boltus provided an illustration, allegedly based on a photograph that accompanied a piece. Fred W. Asswap, who edited the Gazette at the time, recounted circumstances that led to the Swifty story. William Women and Miller, a little rock businessman who had been travelling in the Ozarks of North Alacrus, told Swifty of the horrible creature, monster, known as the Gro- 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 his name came from the noise it made during its nocturnal deputations. The creature has been slaughtering livestock and pets near Belco, AC County, in Calf Count Creek Township. Miller found a posse that tracked the go road to his lair, a little cave litter littered with animal skeletons, leaving them some human remains. They waited to ambush the mutter, monster. They heard it emerge from the nearby lake, causing the earth to tremble as it made its way toward them. The gold roll perished after several volleys from the posse. Before his death, it ripped up several trees and tore on the leg one of the, one on the le- leg of the posse members. An examination of the remains made revealed a creature twenty feet in length, two tusks, large webbed feet, and in claws, a row of short horns along his back, a long thin tail with a blade on the end. Williams claimed to have seen sent the body to the Smithsonian Institution, but he never arrived in Washington DC Museum. As Stock dismissed the count is a great fake, probably about foundation in fact. Use that research of folklore, collector Vance. Ralph Randolph revealed additional details for the Grove Road, which he believed was been reported as early as eighteen hundreds. Randolph's sources suggested that the Row Row was a species of creature farther than the range of a most solitary. The young hatched from soft shelled eggs and large beer kegs, and mother carried a newly hatched for influences in pouch. Randolph related a story about an encounter of Rover by spickily exploring Devil's Hole in Boone County. He also told someone from Menta, Polk County, who claimed to have captured a Grovero in inducing the creature to eat some so many dried apples that it swelled to the size that prevented it escaping into its burrow. The Rover's character was exhibiting his catch to anyone, pay a quarter. Once he had a significant audience, the man was staggered from behind the counter with clothes in rags, announcing the Grover had escaped. This sent the crowd into panic about his having to produce the actual Grover. Creatures such as Grover abound in folklore and exaggeration. It is often associated with a frontier. Though sometimes stories about them that may be told to be true, frequently they are tall tales or lies, and some toy tellers do note them. In fact, Randolph present, present in Missouri in a grove, a collection of tall tales titled, We Always Lie to Strangers.